In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Thursday, the 6th of January, 2022. It is Thursday after the Epiphany of the Lord. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who through your only Son raised up your eternal light for all nations, grant that your people may come to acknowledge the full splendor of their Redeemer, that bathe evermore in his radiance, they may reach everlasting glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. John, chapter 4, verses 19 to chapter 5, verse 4. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 72. The response to the psalm is... All nations on earth shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 14 to 22. I read from the first reading. Beloved, we love God because He first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he sees cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him that he who loves God should love his brother also. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father, loves the Son. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Love and hate cannot coexist. Love and hate cannot coexist. Dearly beloved of God, in today's first reading, St. John says, Love and hate cannot coexist. We cannot say we love God and at the same time hate our brothers and sisters. 
Such one, St. John describes as a liar. These two principles, love and hate, are always opposing each other and are at antagonism. One who loves does not hate, and one who hates does not love. How can you love some and hate some? You, one and the same person, loving and hating. Let us take the example of God. He is love, and he loves all. He never hates and will never hate. So St. John says, love and hate cannot coexist. We cannot love, in this case claiming to love God and perhaps some of our brothers and sisters, and at the same time hating some. Our love of God is seen and known from our love of neighbor. In fact, one is proof of the other. Meaning, if we love our neighbor, then we love God. Love of God leads us to love our neighbor because God is in our neighbor. God is my neighbor. My neighbor is a visible sign of the unseen God. If you love someone or something that you have never seen, I guess if you are shown something or someone that is a representative of that thing or someone you love, you will definitely love them. For how can you even claim to love someone you have never seen, yet you hate the one you see? The unseen God we claim to love is represented in our neighbors whom we see, our brothers and sisters. St. John uses an analogy. If you love a parent, you would love their children. If you love a teacher, you would love their subject. If you love a tree, you would love its fruits. So if we love God, by every logic and analogy, we will love the children of God, who are our brothers and sisters and neighbors. God's good people. Can one truly say he loves God without loving his neighbor? The answer is of course no. You cannot love God and hate your neighbor because your neighbor is God. Whatsoever you do unto the least of these brothers or sisters of mine that you do to me, Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. Now, you may say, but my neighbor does bad things to me. Does God do bad things? Remember, St. John says, if we love God, we will keep his commandments. And his commandment is that we should love one another. John chapter 15, verse 12. Yes, even our enemies, those who persecute us, we should love them and pray for them. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, and Luke chapter 6, verse 27. So if you fail to do this, it means you don't love God. You think you love him. You only think you do, but you don't. How can you love someone, yet you don't do what he says? Or you pick and choose and do what suits and pleases you? As children of God, we must be like God and act like him. We must love as he loves. He loves all, even his enemies. Even while they were persecuting him, he kept loving till the very end. We too, we should show how much we love him by keeping his commandments and to do as he has instructed us. Now, what does it mean to love God and how can we love God? First, it is in keeping his commandments. And St. John says his commandments are not burdensome. If we keep God's commandments, beloved, then we love him. He has given us his commandments. If we keep them, and do his will and do as his word instructs us, then we show that we love God. Second, it is in loving our neighbor. Beloved, if you love God, you love your neighbor because your neighbor is a representative of the God whom you do not see. And you cannot claim to love God and you hurt him. 
Which means, if you look at your neighbor, you will do things that please them. And this is where the golden rule comes. Do not do unto others what you do not like done to you. So if truly I love God who is in my neighbor, I will not want to hurt my neighbor. If I love God who is in my neighbor, I will not want to do something that will offend my neighbor. If I love God who is in my neighbor, I will do only good things to make them happy. I will be generous. I will be kind. And even if I make a mistake, I will move over to them and ask for pardon. And if it is they who offend me and ask for pardon, I will forgive them. Dear friends in Christ, the words of St. John in his first letter are very important. We cannot claim to love God if we do not love our neighbors. So ask yourself, beloved, if there are some persons whom you hate, whom you do not love, then it is simple. You hate God. Because love and hate cannot coexist. It is either we love or we hate. We cannot love and hate at the same time. Let us therefore beg God to give us the grace that we may be his children in truth by loving him and by loving our neighbors. For when we love our neighbors, we show the love that we have for God. And if truly we love God, then we would love our neighbors. That is the movement. To show that we love God, we love our neighbors and keep God's commandments. And if truly we love God, then we will keep his commandments and love our neighbors. Oh dear God, for the grace to love as you love, for the grace to love all just as you do, we beg of you and pray, O oh Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.